What's up guys, Ruben here. You're probably looking at the Galaxy S3 now and you've been looking at the hardware and the unboxings and you've been thinking, seems like a pretty nice phone. Um, obviously it's got a great design, uh, some people like, some of us don't. Great camera, very nice display. What is the actual software like? And today I'm going to show you that. So without further ado, let's get started. So this device is running Android 4.0.4, the latest version of Android, aka Ice Cream Sandwich. It's also running TouchWiz. There's no number. Some people are calling it TouchWiz 5. Others are Samsung are just calling it TouchWiz. This is an overlay um, that Samsung have set up to differentiate themselves from the common Android market. So let's have a look. Basically what you're going to get is themed icons, especially stock apps like messaging and contacts and internet. As you can see, all these are themed very nicely. Um, you're also going to get your common 7 home screens with a fancy 3D effect between each home screen here as you can see very nice uh, you're also going to get a couple of TouchWiz apps especially for TouchWiz devices like the weather widget and time widget up here uh, amongst other apps uh, so we're going to the app drawer and as you can see uh, the background keeps it's, it's kept the background is still there sorry about that um, as you can see it's transparent uh, through the app drawer which is very nice and uh, they've also integrated and changed from the common ice cream sandwich layout here because we have a constant uh, apps uh, draw click on widgets and we still have widgets up here which is common but there's no download tab like um, like there is with stock ICS instead you have to go up here and there you're downloaded apps uh, so that's very interesting uh, TouchWiz also offers modifications to the notification tabs as you can see here we have custom settings at the top which we can also scroll to uh, to change some more uh, Samsung have also added the date up there uh, amongst other various changes TouchWiz also offers changes to the general UI of the settings as you can see uh, things are grouped and uh, they also have different icons and uh, just generally it is stock ICS but with a couple of UI changes here and there our internet is, uh, is stock ICS with a couple again of UI changes a lot of these TouchWiz overlays are, uh, especially this version of TouchWiz isn't really intrusive and on this quad-core processor it runs very well and uh, you're not going to notice many different um, problems with, uh, with the whole interface here is, uh, it's themed the keypad is themed uh, from TouchWiz as well which is very nice to do like that uh, some people are a fan of TouchWiz, others aren't. Um, so yeah, it's personal preference. But uh, Samsung have also included many other features, uh, motion features, um, which are integrated into the software. These include putting your phone up to your ear when you're in a messaging uh, app, messaging conversation to phone that person. Uh, you can also do a common tilt to zoom um, and other things as well as smart eye which basically if you're not looking at the phone the display will turn off again all integrated into the software uh, we'll go to gallery here and uh, just take it away just in case there's anything naughty um, <laughs> we'll just show you show you a man here we were at the Olympics today not the Olympics so the, um, the torch relay thing uh, so if you basically just hold two fingers on the display and tilt going to get that nice zoom feature which you found in the Galaxy S2. Uh, you also get that in web browsing. When you web browse in internet, uh, the internet, you can zoom in uh, to websites um, using that same method as we're about to see here. We'll just get rid of the mobile site from Gadget. As you can see the software does a very good job of rendering web pages and there's no problem in normal zooms or lags or anything like that of the such uh, so we're just going to the landscape here uh, okay so it's still loading but we'll try anyway, we'll zoom in and, uh, and it mustn't, as it said uh, just try here maybe we didn't enable the settings uh, so we go to advanced, I think it is, is it? Okay, so I couldn't find that, but generally I know you can do that, you can zoom in, fine. Uh, so that's basically the software, Android Ice Cream Sandwich, you're going to get the common Ice Cream Sandwich stuff. 
in uh, the Galaxy S3, and it's basically, you know, it's. You, I can't really say much about Android software. If you're looking at this video, I take it that you're into um, you're into Android anyway, because obviously you won't be getting a high-end phone as your first Android smartphone. Um, but it's generally all the same, and it runs very fast. So thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe for more videos, and don't forget to comment.